Hello everyone, Marco here. This video is part of the new user guide series and we'll be covering VE rent and where we're at in the overall program of the new user guide series, uh, VE rent. And in this module, we will cover how to rent vary as a renter or a rentee. Now to get started, we want to cover some basics, uh, some terminology, and just to make sure everyone has a, a comprehension of the underlying functionality and, and what's really happening. So really, uh, the, the Vader uh, renting rental function is really, a, I guess, a specialized subset or addition of the exposure use cases. And by that I mean uh, typically for an exposure that's the easiest way to open and uh, to get uh, exposure to an asset is just to directly open the exposure in the Vader um, and that will be covered in the VE exposure module so if you're interested in that go check that one out. Uh, this one will be referring to uh, the VE rent module and it has two actors in there primarily the rentee and the renter and so as the rentee that's a case where you are offering your Veritasium for rent economic rent to another user and in return you're expecting a percentage of that renter's return on the exposure that will be opened as a result of the rental. And this is a key point to be aware of. This implementation of rent in the Vader is economic rent. And during that process, your very will be consumed as the fee. And that very will be retained and recycled by Veritasium. Uh, in the future, there may be another implementation of rent, that being contract rent, uh, where you would retain the, the vary, but that's a whole different um, use case scenario. Uh, okay, back to this use case, uh, e uh, economic rent. Uh, so we've covered the rentee. Now as the renter, that's somebody where uh, you want to get vary so that you can open an exposure. Say you've got a, a large amount of Ethereum uh, available, uh, but you've had a difficult time or are unable to obtain some Veritasium. And so what you can do is enter into a contract as a renter, and in that case, no vary is required for this particular setup. You would use your Ethereum and borrow, economically borrow the uh, Veritasium from another user and together you two would then partner to open the exposure. And the current ratio right now is one very to 2.6 F, 2.63 uh, specifically and and that's adjusted frequently on the platform. What that equates to is about a 5% fee in US dollar terms and so uh, for, a, say, a, a, as an easy example, $100 exposure, you would need $5 of Veritasium to open that uh, particular exposure. Currently, there are limits uh, on quantities in the, in the uh, beta version that we're looking at. Minimum is 0 0.039 very and maximum of third, just over 38, very 38.022. And that corresponds at the current ratio to a minimum Ethereum of 0 0.1 or a max F of 100. So if you're a renter, you're coming in as the renter, you're essentially funding this exposure. And then the rentee is coming in, bringing the very to the equation as the fee, the 5% fee. So uh, the renter is bringing the bulk of the of the uh, value to the equation, and as such, they are the ones that control the exposure. And I'll talk more about that in a minute. 
profits are paid out in Ethereum. That is profits if there are any. And let's transition to the next slide and talk about that in more detail. So here at the bottom we have the uh, VE exposure. If you want to open an exposure directly, again, that will be covered in the VE exposure video and module. For this particular case, we're talking about economic rent. And so there are the two roles in here again, recap, rentee and renter. So if you're the rentee, you're essentially renting out your Veritasium and you have no Ethereum. Uh, and I say no Ethereum, uh, no Ethereum of quantity. You will need a small amount of Ethereum for gas as a rentee user. And the price will be a percentage of the exposure profit. And that's negotiable essentially between the renter and the rentee. And uh, if there is a, that's if there's a profit, if there's a loss, the loss goes to the renter, meaning the person that brought the Ethereum to fund the exposure, resulting exposure. But uh, keep in mind too that the Veritasium is consumed as part of the 5% fee when you do open the exposure. So uh, something to be aware of. Uh, profit on, in either case is paid in Ethereum. Flip side, the renter is the person that's going to provide the funding for the exposure. The renter owns the Ethereum, and in this case, they don't have any Veritasium. Now, if they had both, they could enter into the exposure directly through VE exposure. But in this case, they don't have any Veritasium, so they need to partner with a rentee and utilize their very, and together, You'll have both halves of the equation. You'll have the 5% fee and vary. And as the renter, you're bringing the Ethereum to the equation to, to fund the exposure. Now, you are dependent on the, the rentee to open an exposure in this case. And likewise, the rentee is dependent on a renter to fund the exposure. And so it takes two to tango in the VE rent model with the open ultimate goal of opening the exposure and collecting the rent at the close of the exposure uh, in Ethereum. Okay, so let's go ahead and run through that process. And so you need to go to the DAP and if you've not uh, been here yet, then you will uh, need to see the, the first video, couple videos in this series of setting up your account. So once you're on the Veritasium homepage, which is the portfolio page, click the three bar menu, go down and select the VE Rent module. And when you get to VE Rent, you'll see there are a couple sub tabs here. The default sub tab is to offer your very tokens for rent. So this is the example where you're the rentee. Uh, we'll go through this first. The second part of the equation is if you're entering into an exposure as the renter, you've got Ethereum, but you need very, you would go to the get very tokens for that functionality. And so, uh, there are a couple ways to accomplish the goal of, of getting an offer in for your and, and opening the exposure. Uh, first way, simplest way, is to come into the offers page pane here and look at any existing offers that that uh, are there and, and available. Um, you'll see. A couple things here, a couple data points on this particular offer. You can click on it and it will bring up a little bit more information over on the right. You can actually come in and look at the, the information around that particular offer uh, and the timeline. We can see that this offer was added eight days ago. You can actually click on the pop out and go look at that on MetaMask, on, uh, excuse me, on, uh, 
etherscan.io if you so choose. There may be times where this row is grayed out. There are two cases I can think of where that may be the scenario. One is if you don't have enough funds in your account, in your account uh, Ethereum and or Avery, to actually ex uh, accept that offer. The other would be uh, if you've put in an offer to get very tokens, it will show up on this pane uh, and it will be grayed out since it would be pointless to take your own offer. Uh, that's the other scenario where they'll be grayed out. And so to accept an offer, if you were to look at this and say, well, uh, this particular offer has a value of $13, a little bit more, around 13.5 US dollars. Uh, price is 19.99% and uh, what that means is uh, the fee at the close of the exposure 19.99% of the exposures profit would be going to the person offering the, the, the token up for rental. Uh, if if that fee is agreeable to you, essentially, uh, you know, it's pretty close to 20%. One party would make 20%, and the other would collect the, the 80%. And if if those terms were agreeable, you would simply click the accept or the, the uh, shopping cart icon to accept that offer. Read the, the pop-up here. You are about to accept a rent offer and uh, you're essentially going to open a, a Vader exposure if you accept this offer. You're going to partner with the other half of the equation to do that, bringing both the Vary and the Ethereum to the, to the exposure. Once that's happening, this will tell you uh, what goes on during that process. The alternative is, if there's not a, an offer in here, say, you know, that's a little bit too high. I think I, uh, I, I may be able to get a better rate than that. Then what you can do is simply click, click the big plus orange icon here and open your own offer. So say, uh, let's, uh, the limits in the beta are 0.039, so you can see if I try to put in a 0.038, you'll get a, a warning there, so 0.039. And that's going to equate to an exposure value of just under $14. And you may have noticed this is updating in real time as the price of Veritasium and Ethereum change. You can set your own price on here, say 14.999 percent is a little more uh, palatable to your taste. Uh, duration is duration not of the offer but of the resulting exposure. So if you want the if you want to open an exposure that's one year in duration you would just put in a one here and then switch over to the year uh, uh, selector. You can go anywhere from 15 minutes. So if you want, you could literally open an exposure for as little as a quarter of an hour. You'll see here that 0 .24, 0 0.24 of an hour is too little. Uh, minimum duration is 15 minutes. On the flip side, the other end of the duration, you can actually go all the way out to 99 years. You can't do, can't do 100. But you can certainly do 99, and that's a that's a long duration. But don't worry, uh, you can close early. Uh, the exposure, if you are the renter, the person bringing the Ethereum to fund the exposure, in conjunction with your rentee partner who's bringing the Veritasium, you as the renter can close the exposure early. It's important to note for both parties. The person funding the exposure, the renter, uh, being the person bringing the majority of the funds to the table, has control of that decision. The, the rentee in this case 
is at the mercy of the renter. Uh, so if the renter needed the money, you know, needed to cash out and needed to, to get the funds back early for whatever reason, even at a loss, that's up to them and that's the that's the risk that the, the rentee will take on. However, having said that, the ultimate goal is profit for both parties. And so uh, I would think that just kind of logically speaking, that's going to be a, a pretty minimal occurrence. The vast majority of the time, people are going to uh, not close if it's not in a profit situation. Okay, so that's... That's the uh, process of offering your very up. Um, let me, oh, one last bit over here. Now, uh, the duration here, in this case, 99 years uh, and an expiration of, of your own, you know, your own duration. Now, expiration in this case, expiration is expiration of the offer itself. So if I put in in here, let's say I just wanted uh, a week, seven days, you can say, or one week. Either way works. Um, that will bring me out to approximately February 24th. That means this offer will be active out there uh, until February 24th. If I was only interested in this offer being out there for some shorter amount of time, say 12 hours, uh, I could do that as well. Uh, any, again, any um, combination on here. If you if you leave this blank, uh, you may have noticed that this field is optional. Um, what that essentially means is that it will never expire if you don't put in any expiration. So I'll go ahead and put in 12 hours and I'll submit one just so we can see the, the process. When you hit submit, you'll notice a couple things happening. You'll notice the MetaMask notification has popped up. And in the background here, under my offers, you'll see an offer now in the beginnings of being formed, the, the smart contract behind it. Over in the right pane, under the details for this offer, you'll see the same thing. You'll see this offer uh, is currently in pending state, and it's being added. And what, what's happening is the Vader is now waiting for or your user's approval to actually open up that offer. And by doing that, I just hit confirm. Gas is calculated automatically. Transaction created. Again, you can go out to Etherscan, review that transaction if you so desire, uh, and follow it along. Uh, when it's done, the Vader will notify us back on this screen. So I'll go ahead and pause and wait for that to continue to complete. Okay, our transaction on MetaMask is completed, and we can see now my offers is a, a completed offer out there, a amount of 0 0.039 very at a 14.999% price. For a duration of 99 years and this offer will expire now in just under 12 hours if you prefer to get rid of this offer before then you can simply click the cancel or the trash can icon and it will remove the offer over here to the right now we see the offer is active for the amount 0.039 vary for a US dollar amount of 13.812 and the timeline on that, we see that it was added two minutes ago. Uh, you could indeed click the pop out to go look at that on Etherscan. And so we've got this offer. Now, if we go over and look at Get Very Tokens, we can see over here, looky there, the middle offer now shows up our 0 0.039 vary at 14.999%. In here, in the offers to get very because makes sense right we were offering veritasium on the other tab this pane here are for folks looking to get very or to accept that offer and so it shows up in this list as well so on this page shows up on get very 
and on the page we open it up it'll actually show up under my offers and so we can see that here but we can also see it's grayed out and there's no shopping cart icon that's the indicator to us that we cannot purchase this we cannot accept this offer it's our offer that would be meaningless to do that uh, the benefit of having it show up here in this pane is that we can see our offer now is actually sandwiched in between two existing offers 13.99 percent a little bit cheaper but it's for a higher amount and it's only for one year so maybe that doesn't fit somebody's needs uh, they want a longer duration exposure than one year uh, maybe they're willing to pay just a little bit more for 14.99 percent uh, rather than 13.99 to get a 99 year lease in this case or uh, exposure sorry okay uh, let me go ahead and just go through a couple of the other panes here this applies on both tabs get as well as offer uh, and we've covered the offers in the very tabs or my offers offers and my offers tab sorry uh, two more tabs here are recent rentals so really all this is is a list of everybody's recent rentals and all of these lists you'll note you can sort by just clicking on the header and so we see in terms of durations the shortest duration was here and it goes up from there you can reverse the sort click again we see a couple of these 99 year ones so we see a few folks here on the very short end of the duration curve and then a couple on the long end and everyone else in between likewise with price and amount uh, and the exposed value as well opened exposures are my opened exposures and so in this case if somebody were to accept my offer of very tokens click that it would then open that exposure up and shift it from my offers over in, into this paid over here open exposures where then we can track the current performance of that exposure percent return etc how much time is left current status and what have you ultimately when that exposure then gets closed either early by the renter person controlling the exposure bringing the funds to the table or through the just the natural end of the exposure one year or whatever the duration may be and when that happens or when that situation occurs they move down into the bottom down here into closed exposures so back over to get very tabs uh, what we can see I've got no in this iteration of the platform and on this account I've got no closed exposures if none of these exposures really still met my needs I want to get very tokens to to fund this exposure say you know I've got 3.99 ethereum up here I could use say I wanted to open a, an exposure for 3f well there's none here that large so in that case what I would want to do is put in my own offer I want to put in my own offer and that says okay how much ethereum do I want to offer uh, I'm not going to put in all three to, to tie up the ethereum so I'll use the minimum amount in this case 0.1 concept is the same though you can go all the way up to 100 ethereum in this current uh, version of beta uh, for VE rent these limits may be adjusted uh, I don't know uh, parameters going into that, but certainly Veritasium may indeed adjust these ratios over time. So, okay, so I want to put in an offer to get some Veri. We'll see that um, if I if I wanted to get one full Veri for an exposure, that equates to an exposure. Uh, of $354. I don't. Uh, let's go for a 0.1 uh, Ethereum sized exposure and an ROI. 
Uh, let's just go ahead and do something similar to this, only so that we can see the distinction. I'm going to say 14.888% instead of 999, so that we'll see when we open up this offer, it will indeed open up over on the offer very tokens tab. Duration, or how long do we want it? Let's just go ahead and say 99 years. I kind of like that, 99 years. That gives you the option of, of letting it run for literally 99 years, probably long after I'm gone although I'm on C60. Uh, and uh, you do always have the option to close early, close your exposure early, uh, whether you need the funds or you just want to rebalance your portfolio or for whatever reason, as the, as the renter, you control that, just like you do if you open an exposure directly. And then again, same thing, duration. Let's go ahead and... and Let's put this one out here for 11 hours and gives you the approximate date. Uh, now it's giving you the, the renter's version of the pop-up and it's basically saying um, if somebody accepts my offer, it will deduct the Ethereum, in this case 0.1 Ethereum, out of my account and pair it with the ver Veritasium tokens from the person offering them, from the rentee, and together those will then open the exposure. At the close of that exposure, uh, I would keep, I would pay the, the contract would pay the rent, rentee 14.88%, percent of the profit, and I would retain the rest of the profit. And so that's it. Uh, we hit continue. And again, same process. It's going to pop up a MetaMask notification or Trust or Opera or whatever environment you're in. You can hit Confirm and it submits that offer out there. Again, transaction created. You can go out on, on Etherscan.io and, and take a peek at that should you so choose. Okay, our transaction's completed. Now we see in My Offers for Get Very. Our 14.888 offer. We can click on that, see the additional information over here. We see the offer is active, and indeed, we see the on the timeline it was added one minute ago. We can go out and look at that on EtherScan if we so choose. Now, if we switch back over to the Offer Very tab, Offer Very Tokens tab, now we can see okay, in the offers. Indeed, here is our 14.888% offer expiring in just under 11 hours. And so that's it. There's our offers. Uh, again, in this scenario, if we were on Get Very, uh, same as on Offer Very, if you were interested in one of these existing offers, the process is the same in all of these scenarios. You just ship, select the shopping cart icon follow it through, uh, it will pop up a, a confirmation that you need to confirm, and boom, there you go. Then the, the Vader will go ahead and open the contract and open the exposure just like it would through a regular VE exposure. So that's it. That's our VE Rent module. Hope this is helpful. Everyone uh, join the Telegram room. If you have questions or want to learn more, link is in the description below. And take care. We'll see you all next time. Thanks much. Bye-bye.